All right, we're recording. All right, hello YouTube. This is Dart289 making another video on the BMW S1000XR uh, 2020. So I've had an unfortunate accident, and let's let me put that flashlight there. I had an unfortunate accident a little while ago, and sorry for the light, it's not great. Where we popped a radiator hose. It's kind of hard to see. My lighting conditions are not ideal. See if we can get you in there a little better. Kind of using my phone to see what you see a little better. I'm new to GoPro, so you gotta forgive me. So that is our improvised hose sitting there. Let me show you what I did. So what happened, and you're gonna see my phone because I'm using that to make sure I can see what you see. What happened is our, we had a little bit of a layover in the grass, if I can find it, and we wound up springing a pinhole leak right there. See that gash? And while we were waiting for the new one to come all the way from Germany, what I did is I went and I bought a hose off of a 2011 Nissan Quest. There's your part number. And you just take yourself as a razor blade and you cut off the angle and what you're left is a nice straight-ish piece of hose that'll get the job done. Pair that with three quarter to one and three quarter hose clamp and you'll get your ass home. So that's covering that. Let's not mix up everything. For this job, we have bought the BMW Secret Sauce coolant too, because I don't want to void my warranty. <laughs> and pretty much everything you'll need, a pair of side cutters, a T50, um, a T25 bit on a handle, a small ratchet with a T25, and a very small screwdriver. That comes in handy for taking off the turn signals and you'll see the reassembly part. Now that, that'll cover most of the install, but because we're doing the rad hose, we also need some tools for the clamps. And because I have hose clamps on there, I've got an eight mil ready to go to take that off. Not to mention what we saw, the clean drain pan. I don't think I'm gonna reuse it, but it, it's better to have it clean. It's easier to get rid of when you don't have oil floating on top of it. So without further ado, I guess let's get to it. Um, oh yeah, and gloves. I highly recommend you use gloves. This stuff cannot be good to get on your skin. So let's put on our hand condoms. And no, this video is not sponsored by BMW in any way, shape, or form. They probably would really hate to see that this video is going live, but we're doing it anyway. And mind the mess. I did plan to make this video. I just didn't plan the clean before it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the cell phone over there so I can see what you see. Hopefully we won't have to remove this because if I have to remove this we have to remove this like on the other side So let's see how am I lined up here? Yeah Good enough now, If you guys want to see more I'll have to shoot a, a video out in the daylight So we're gonna start by making a mess and hopefully, again, we're not gonna wear this, but you want the finger condoms just in case. Now, this is, this is why, I don't know if you guys can see this at all. Yeah, look how flat that is. There's, it's lit, releasing right now. So this hose is not actually pulling fluid from the coolant reservoir. It's just creating a vacuum and sucking shut. Always made me nervous when I was firing it up, but I will say, it worked. I've been I put 200 miles on this hose while I was waiting for the one to come from Germany. So here we go. We're gonna make a mess. Let's get this flashlight out of my pocket just in case. Okay. 
Come on. It was a lot of learning when we get tore into this bike first night. A couple of beers spilt and everything. All right. So that should be loose. Oh, come on. Don't scratch the paint now. Let's take off the ratchet. And then we'll take that off. There we go. Beautiful. And this spins now. No. I finger it a little further. This will be a long video, and I can't promise it'll be, what's the word, edited very well either. Oh, wow. Okay, well, don't get that brand of hose clamp, because uh, that just happened. Hopefully, we won't need it anymore. Ugh. Stuck on there. Fairly good. There we go. Now we're going to start making a mess. Now, let's just commit the sin right now. She'll get bathed. There's a reason I haven't washed her and she looks dirty. It's because I knew this was going to happen. And after I clean up from this mess... Ugh, then we'll take her back to the dealership. Because the engine's just broken in now. There we go. Get that cheap ass hose clamp without scratching anything else. Yeah, that sucker pulled right out. So don't get that brand. I don't even know to see what brand it is. Cradler? I don't know. I'll just chuck that over there to the side. So that's loose. No reason to make any more of a mess than we absolutely have to. Scooch on down and let's get that other hose clamp off the front. See, this one comes off in one piece. Definitely want a fine tooth ratchet and have your wits about you as not to scratch your plastics if you find yourself in this situation. Yeah, I'm looking away for a second to get my phone in focus. So you guys can't see that well. My low light situation sucks. I can see just fine, but this camera's not picking it up. Uh, and this screw is right out too so yeah two for two no good Ugh, and that's just gonna make my life that much more of a pain in the butt <clears throat> come on so i'm just trying to pull up on the head but that doesn't seem to be working let's tuck that wire back into another hole yeah you look good there so i'm gonna try to get behind this plastic and push down on that tab see if we can't start to get it loosened up she's gone through a few heat cycles now, this is probably why the germans didn't want to use conventional hose clamping and ah, i don't blame them nobody does anymore i can get a squeeze on you and break you loose uh, oh why well, you know come oh, i'm gonna wind up cutting myself all right Let's go see if we can get some little tweezers or something. Whoa. I think I had some on the, yes I did. We might not have all the right tools, but we get, we should have enough. All right, phone check. Can you see that little that shiny bit right in there, that's the hose clamp we're working with. And this is the tube. Alright, so. Ugh. That's what did it. There we go. Now that that's freed up, we'll get my hand back in there. See, we can't work that around. And free her up a little bit. Ugh. He does not want to come. Just have to keep working my fingers around the whole, whole hose. And hopefully it'll dislodge from the rubber. This temporary fix took a lot longer to put on than it's gonna take, take off, I hope. 
There we go. There we go. There she comes. Oh, yeah. All right. And we'll move you up. And there's the second bastard out of the way. Get out of here. I don't talk to you no more. All right. Ah, yes. So as not to put too much stress on the plastic on either side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this housing, which is your thermostat housing, and then we'll have a real gusher. All right. So for that, we should need our T25, I believe. Oh, I thought it was just a T25. Okay. I made him stick. Let's go get the bin and we'll find out what it is. All right, uh, that's probably too small. I wouldn't trust it. What else we got? Maybe that one? Yeah, that's a good fit. What do we got here? So you also need a T30. Missed that one. All right, let's drop our T25 off. Now I took this all apart, but again, you will see me putting it all back together. So that was just past snug. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna drop off the wrench and we'll finger these out. I don't want to put a hole in my glove. And crafty Germans. So yeah, in here you want to be ready for it because this thing will spring a thing out at you and you do not want to drop a thermostat on any hard surface, including the concrete that we're working on right now. I'm getting the feeling I should aim my camera a little low. I'm using a head strap. Like I said, I'm new to GoPro. This might be a no edit video that gets directly uploaded. And in this scenario, all of these bolts are exactly the same, same length, same shape and form. So we don't have to keep track of which one goes where. All right, beautiful. Put that back over there. And I got cooling on my hands, but what are GoPros for? All right, so we're gonna aim you down a little bit more. So now this thing's gonna come out. Be careful, this is a plastic housing. And I don't wanna wait another two weeks for it to come from Germany. And I'm trying to keep this off my floor as much as possible. It'll make a freaking mess. Not, there's not much for it. Yep, she's gushing. But it is pretty well contained to this side. I'm sure I'll get a couple drips on the other side. There she comes. Now we got all the flow. And unfortunately, this is only half the battle. So she did pop off there, I don't know if you can tell. And there's our precious thermostat that we absolutely cannot drop on anything. So this will get a special spot Oh, over here, I think, on the cardboard. I don't care if my tools got to be cleaned later. But that should be fine over there. So, pull this away. Actually, and down. Let some more of that drain out right into the pan. Somehow, we have very minimum spillage. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, how do you like that hot dog down the hallway? Oh, she appears to have started to melt. Oh, well, there you go. 200 miles and switch that sucker out. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll take a closer look at it in the light. A little bit of schmoo in there I put there to ease the fitting. So we'll put that down like so. And we'll move this back over. Well, actually, no, let's not. Let's pull this hose down. Slow as she'll, oh, and there's a spill. There we go. Slow as she'll suffer without doing any damage to anything else. And then we want to move it up. Hopefully this side don't give them too much trouble. All right. 
There's a delay on the phone so I can see for a second uh, what it looked like. Oh yeah, she's stuck on there good and proper. Oh, you got more for me? All right. Oh yeah, she's baked on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> something tells me I'm just gonna be wrestling this thing for a good minute. Come on, girl. Give her up. You don't want this hose on here. This dirty Nissan hose. You don't want this hose on here. Is this in my glove? Does the band-aid turn blue? No, we're good. Got in a fight with a cat this morning. I lost. That's all I'm gonna say about that. You know, maybe if we take that teeny weeny little screwdriver and try to just start separating her just a wee bit, maybe she'll start working herself loose. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to scratch it up and then you have a leakage path. Ugh. But if we can break it up, see? There we go. We broke the seal. Now that oil antifreeze lubricant is doing its job for me. Ugh. All right, let's uh, give her a bit of a twist and a shake. Now she's starting to come from the front. You wanna move up your drain pan. That looks like we got her. Ow. <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah, see that? I was not expecting the heat from the engine to start melting that thing. This side's perfectly fine, but I guess being up in here, up against the engine block, I did break the rubber. Damn it, need a new hand condom. Yeah, I guess that, or maybe it just got squeezed in there. Maybe it didn't melt at all. Look, there's a black transfer. Maybe it didn't get hot at all, but it just got pinched in the freaking housing. That is interesting. Okay, so cut it just a little shorter than I did, I guess. Uh, or maybe uh, cut a, a bit of a, a small relief right there. But there you have it. That is our 2011 Nissan Quest hose. And I think it was this side I cut because it's uglier than sin. That's what she originally was. And it's not the worst replacement in the world. I think I paid 30 bucks for it. BMW wants 40 for this. I'll throw this in a long trip bag, bag just in case I have another oops on the side of the road. I have to probably wind up filling it with water, but eh, what can you do? But there you have it. So we'll just leave that dirty thing there. Eh, I don't think I got too much cooling on my hands. Just chuck that right in the fucking bucket. Get my hands dried off here. I'm sure BMW is gonna love hearing that. And I'm sure they'll switch it up right quick and in a hurry. All right, get the new finger condoms on. Took me 45 minutes to take this thing apart after two hours learning how to the first time. <laughs> so you can get this done in a fairly good amount of time. Let's take our new friend. And then here becomes the royal pain in the patoot. It's not gonna fit on. So now we gotta play with those toys over there. See if we can finagle this thing. It's cooperating. I'll just do this on the floor. Now I'm sure that I'm gonna get somewhere with this, because obvious. 
problem is, is when you're working in there, I ain't got room for that big old thing. So I really would like to get in there with this. The only problem with that is that full chooch, there ain't nothing for it. And we'll hook one side, but that one's hanging out in the air. So, uh, huh. Well, we gotta put it on the pipe no matter what. So let's just try to get away with doing that first. Whoa. Let's uh, let's do that sideward. So if it does spring him a thing, it doesn't go straight into our eyes. Safety squints engaged. Actually, they want you to line up that green with that too. So keep that in mind. They do have a desired direction oh pucker factors up high shoit I don't know if I got the hand strength for this oh, I'm gonna push this tube into here and it's gonna both go fly off Oh, no, that can't be good for either one of them. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, suddenly want to curse out my buddy because he's got my vice, and uh, I could put this in the vice. I got a vice behind me. Crap. Can you guys see a damn thing I'm doing right now? Not really. Let's turn this sucker down a little. Sorry about that. Now, let's go to the other hand. I'm left hand dominant. Ugh. Come on. Ah, gosh darn. <clears throat> I, I gotta get it on there first because I ain't gonna do it after. All right, we'll do the bad thing. We'll spring it and hopefully she doesn't chooch off right into the heavens. Oh, that worked, okay. See, we can't get that past. Right there, I hope. Cause yeah, I remember seeing it like that and they want that like that, so yeah. And uh, if you wanna be like that, that means if I have any hope of grabbing her, I need this straight upwards. So orientation is somewhat important in this. Actually, I might uh, for the sake of science, might want to turn that slightly too. I feel like a blacksmith with these things. What do you think, guys? Get that proportional. Get that in there so it doesn't spring straight into my eyeballs. Then I won't need to fix it if I can't see. Alright, that's about as far as a dare. I got the shakes. Yeah, I'll spiral it in. Fuck it. Go. Figure it out in a second. Alright. That actually might be about what I was looking for. But that's choking down the neck, so I guess we gotta get it on just a little further. Groove. All right. Whew. Took a little bit more effort than I'm willing to admit. All right, so we'll get her spread as wide as she'll suffer. Can we? Might we? Oof. If only these tabs were just another like millimeter longer, man. Ah, man, it's so close. And I don't suppose you're any better on this side. Oh. Yeah, not much better. Not much for it. 
Oh, this is gonna be rough. But hey, you guys are coming with me for the journey. If I have to, I'll break out the big pliers and just scratch them all to hell like I did with the first ones. But I would really rather not come to resort to that. All right, so I guess the first thing be first, we gotta get that in. And there is an alignment notch, so yeah, I did get that right. So you'll, if you can see that, there is a hole, well, a semicircle punched out of it. You will see that facing towards you if you're looking in at it after you remove this panel. Line that up, line that up. Actually, there's one on each side. So there you go, boom, boom. And that's how she goes. So we'll start with the harder one, work our way back. Now that she's properly lubed with her own juices, hopefully I don't scrape off all my freaking knuckles. There's a nice freaking knuckle buster to have right there. Try not to rip another glove. She's toy. Oh, I think I got her. There she goes. Ah, oh, man, I might want to pull this piece off just for a sanity check. All right. That's one side of her. I dare say I want to clamp that before I want to go into that. That'll be fun. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> oh, just nearly. BMW wants you to buy their special tool, I'm sure. Oh. Can I? Sorry for the visual, oh, but you ain't gonna see it. Maybe? No, that'll be in the way of that. Man, I don't want to have to take that all off. Might have to. I got that all dirty for nothing? Well, let's take off the belly pan here. Oh, nope, you got the tools. Now these fasteners are definitely different sizes. Each and every one of them. So you want to pay attention to the order which you pulled them. So I'm not actually going to pull everything off, but what I'm going to do is once I get this out of the vey, this will detach and then this can flop open and then I can get in there just by having this dangle in the breeze. You only have to truly remove the other side, I believe, but if not, you know, you guys will come along for the ride. We're already 28 minutes into this. Don't do that. Uh. And I'm sure there's a hell of a better tool than these torque sockets to use for this, but you know, you gotta piss with the cock you got. So that's our up high. That's our fore, our aft, aft. This is our fore. And just so I don't freaking keep, have to think about it, I put them right back in the holes. All right. There, I got my triangle. And then she pops right off. Oh, that's so good. Did we break a clip? That came off a little too easy. Maybe she wasn't clipped in right. All right, so you were my up top. We're gonna put you back in the hole. You were behind. And you were in the front. And we'll just put your sloppy mess over here on the carpet to be absorbed and dealt with later. So then we got one up front we gotta remove. 
you guys see that? You can see the location, but not what I'm working on. Oh. There's the one missing on that side. We're taking out the one that's on this side. And then we're just gonna let her dangle in the breeze because they decided to put a nut up in, or a bolt up in here going this way, which you can only remove by removing the whole freaking panel. So we ain't doing that. We'll just leave her breathe out in the breeze for a minute and make a mental note not to break her off. And this is why you gotta get yourselves a good fine tooth set of ratchets. Instead of dealing with the crap I got. And there ain't much for that, but we're just gonna stick her over there. And then that gives us a bunch more room to work. All right, let's see if we can get in there with these dirty things now. Try looking from this side. Ooh. Oh, I feel cool on me. All right, paper towel first. No reason getting any kind of der contact dermatitis or glycol poisoning from this blue crap. And I certainly don't want to get this crap on my tires. I'll be power washing the bay after this. I can foresee it now. And you know what? Let's move this up a little too. There we go. So the next spill will go directly on the carpet. Beautiful idea. All right, so now we can get in here. I think we actually did wind up taking this off the first time. Give her a good squeeze. Let's see if we can't work her up onto that collar. Not scratching all the plastics. Well, we're almost there. Just got a little further to go. Can only see if I'm hooked on from this side. And I make sure I'm not scratching things from the other side. There we go. Hook her from the back if I can. Oh, oh she is putting up a fight. Oh, you gotta squeeze them all the way together. Jeez and crackers, man. Oh yeah, BMW makes a special tool for this, guarantee it. Holy Shih Tzu. There it goes. All right. Just need to get a little extra loving. Uh, maybe a little scratch, but there's a panel that'll cover most of that. And that notch is not super aligned anymore. So we gotta do it at least one more time. Loosen her up. Get that notch seated properly. And there we are. One side done. Whew. Now we gotta rinse and repeat. Scratch the rinse. And there's a little bit of coolant right here. Go ahead and lube that hole. Uh, let's put it on the housing before we go do that. And actually, because we have the housing loose, it might make the job a little easier because we'll be able to put, actually, you know, make it a harder because it'll be flopping out in the breeze. Do I try it? Yeah, I'll try it anyway. Before we go ahead and risk effing up this plastic side. And then I can get my finger behind it. So now you can see the struggle, I hope. Let's see if we can get the light in here a little better. Don't ask me what the name of this tool is. But I'll tell you what, if you know the name of the proper name of this tool, because I'll ask my buddy after I post the video, I'll pin you. And you did notice this orange, uh, orange, yeah, colors. There's a green mark here, which matches the same shape they have in that thing. So they want you to line that up. And something tells me if I don't, they'll void my warranty. Something tells me if they find out I posted this video, they'll void my warranty. <laughs> but we'll find out. The hard way. Uh, oh, and this thing's covered in freeze now. Anti-consumerist. I 
I wonder though, since we have the extra room to play, maybe now we can use our little tool. Dust off it there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Click. Beautiful. Ah, we can line it up perfectly with that mark. Oh, beautiful thing. We just need to get it on there first. <laughs> and there you have it. Hose is on. Oh, is it aligned? All the way on. Form fitted. I think we're good. So now we carefully reinsert our thermostat. Gently, as they are sensitive to jostling. And you, you will have a little resistance in here. Oh, this O-ring seems to have expanded slightly. Well, that can't be great. No, no, that can't be great at all. Son of a bitch. Had I anticipated, I would have bought it. A new one. No! Well, now becomes the delicate dance of cutting an O-ring. Oh, no. I think this video just ended. That's a huge problem. <sighs> Yeah. It's definitely expanded. Uh, that's a freaking huge problem right there. Crafty, crafty Germans. try finger it in there a little bit but I don't have a whole lot of hopes for it I think we're just prematurely ending this video at this point and I definitely won't be doing any video editing for half assery because now I don't even have a bike to ride I'm 